Those are the ones. I said it before and I'm gonna say it again. Chosen ones, be very careful of what? Proximity. Proximity is the biggest thing that gets you into trouble with a narcissist. Proximity, you know what proximity is. It's space, it's room, it's, it's, it's range, right? Certain scope, certain measurement of space, right? If I live in New York and you live in Pennsylvania, right? My energy is not gonna bother you the same way as if we're in the same house together. It's just what it is. It's just what it is, man. I just wanna make this video real short and sweet. It's not really meant to be a long video, but it's really just a reminder to be careful of proximity. Like, 98% of people who got something to say about a narcissist is this proximity involved. Yes, you know, if family is this is that, cool, like, work on that proximity, work on what can I do to build proximity? What can I do? What can I do, you know? It might be getting a new crib, it might be getting a job, it might be getting a car, it might be getting this, getting that. People say we live in a world and it's not about material. Family, they right, you feel me? It's about spirituality. Spiritual, spirituality leads to, to, to the physical, you feel me? So like if you, if you pray, you could get blessed with material. So it's not the same thing, but it's connected, you know, as if it was the same thing, you know what I'm saying? We live in a physical body controlled by a spirit. You see what I'm saying? So either way it go, you know what I'm saying? I, I wish I could break this down further. I guess I gotta study more things and then bring more firm foundational information to y'all because the type of topics I talk about on YouTube is like spacely, like there's a lot of space and room and this is what makes narcissism so troubling because you know how many people videos I would watch and no one really can just give me the step by step and it'll bother me, you know? It's always a point of, and you know, it's like, it's, it's too much room to think, oh, what do I do here, what do I do there? If they do this, what am I gonna do? Well, da 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 And then you lose hope a lot of times. It's like, listen, I'm gonna try to make a firm list. I'm gonna try to make a firm list, step one, step two, step three. You know, five, 10 things you could do. I'm gonna write something down, you know, things you could do because look, proximity, we gotta attack that proximity. Don't be afraid to comment down below. Proximity. Chosen ones, I'm just saying, proximity is everything. And until we as a collective of chosen ones, you know, start making that um, uh, uh, a matter, a thing, all right, start making that a thing, we're gonna get played because chosen ones, sometimes you find yourself walking and talking to the narcissist and you don't know why. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're just standing around. You got nothing else to do. This is why they're so so um, liable to get you because let's be honest, the truth is you really don't, it ain't that you don't got a life, but it's like, let's be honest, your life is not really phenomenally built, so to speak. Like 95% of the time when you're you know what I'm saying? In these situations, that's really what it be. You know what I'm saying? And you can't hide behind money. You can't hide behind a lifestyle. But the one thing you can do, Chosen Ones, is build both of those things. <laughs> it ain't even about hiding, bro. Like, like family, people try to make it seem like they guilt trip you, like, but they whole time they weaponizing money. They financially abusing you. They say it's not all about money, but but you financially abusing that person, though. If you ain't, if the if the narcissist was broke right now, what would they do, family? They would find a way to find a system that they could a program or something they could sign up for, do something. They doing things that they didn't teach you how to do, basically, because they didn't care. They wanted you to. 
they wanted you to stay small while they stay, you feel me? They get real monopoly like, you feel me? It's messed up. So the proximity, this is what the secret that they ain't telling you. I'ma tell you, I'ma drop this secret. The proximity is built on knowledge. What do I know? Some people could go smoke a cigarette and then that's building proximity. Like I always talk about hobbies. You gotta have hobbies, activities, and little things like, I mean, but the problem is, is that even if you build these hobbies and activities, like I said, you still need other comrades and efficient, like uh, uh, other people who like see where you're coming from, that respect where you're coming from, and they actually want to build, you know what I mean? And that's where it gets uh, mixy yet because you can't just, you can't just hang with just anybody. Chosen ones, you can't. You can't be scared though to step out. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say you gotta have a job because when it's time to step out, chosen ones, when it's time to step out, you gotta be able to buy a coffee. You gotta be able to, 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 to you know, this isn't when we were in middle school or elementary where you just go outside and play. You can't go find, there, okay, so look, I don't wanna give no misdirection in these videos. You don't need money to do this, but you do need to have knowledge. I got some knowledge, I don't have all of it yet. Maybe I'll go live later and talk about this, Chosen Ones, but I'm still learning, you feel me? Yes, it's a basketball court down the street. Yes, this is, you know, Starbucks and this and that. But I promise you, you'll be feeling like people be hiding during the day. They feel like 100% of society is, is hidden. And this is why, because most people are either A at work or B at school. And chosen ones, you can't be mad at that. So a part of it is you building your own life while simultaneously um, doing the other things I'm talking about right now. Like having, you know, I know somebody who said it's, 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 it's good to, to have at least three stores that you visit. Like that, your main, your main places that you go to you know what I'm saying? Like, you could write down in your notes, oh, this store, that store. I mean, you could write down this store, that store. But see, a lot of people live in, in areas where they feel secluded. See, the way certain houses be built, bro. I'm telling you, bro, this is all systematic, bro. Like, <laughs> the, way, the way my houses is built, bro, they built in a way where it feel like it take a mile. Like, it feel like by the time you get to the, the front of the driveway, it feel like you literally just already went where you should have been at a corner store. Like in my mind, like it feel like that, especially when it get cold. So like the enemy will use the proximity on you. Satan will use the proximity. Then it's just a lot that go on when it comes to, when it comes to chosen ones, when it comes to you not feeling like you're in proximity. See the Satan want to use proximity in a negative, but also simultaneously making it to where you can't use it in the positive. See, I gotta ride out a couple miles before I even get to like the Starbucks I was talking about, you know, I gotta ride out. That's how Satan gets you because if you live right across the street from a plaza, Satan already know that you really, um, you really already in the, um, like you don't even gotta try at that point, you know what I'm saying? Cause you just walk outside, go smoke a cigarette. I don't mean, I ain't telling you how to smoke, chosen ones. But yeah, you might go outside and do, you know, chew some gum. You know, you don't gotta smoke, chew some, chew a piece of gum, go outside. But see, Satan, but see, Satan, but see, Satan wanted to seclude people. That's how Satan works, he like to seclude people. And when you feel secluded, our chosen ones, that's when the enemy gonna try to act like it's just you and them. That's where you get this thing, my therapist called group, group think, where people try to persuade you to think like a group instead of like an individual. Cause they know if you're, 
if you're already around people, they know that what they say don't really matter. This is what's so funny about narcissists. They know that they ain't even gonna try to tell you what to do if y'all around, uh, if you're every day around a lot of people. But when they think they got you to themselves like any other predator, they gonna try to tell you how to think, how to walk, how to talk. It's certain girls that I started talking to in my past and they'll tell me I walk too slow. And I took that offensive, like, cause I'm like, who, how dare you tell a king how fast to walk? You should be walking slower. See, and then narcissistic, it's, it's narcissistic for them to think that just cause you like me, that you're gonna tell me how to walk. Some people will say that's an SHIT test from a female in the pickup community. But I see it a little bit more narcissistic than that because people show you their characters off the bat. You got the right, I ain't never gotten, I ain't never took nothing up with somebody that didn't do anything that could harm me. A lot of people in society, they take things up with people that's really not that serious. You taking that up with me because I walk slow, you mad at that? You're not even really mad, you just wanna, you just wanna feel like <laughs> you just, you're just crazy. See what I'm saying? So you, this is why having options is important because people really got mental issues. So if people got mental issues, family, you don't got enough options of people because if you're, the chances of you being near a mental disorder person is so high that you just gotta really realize that. That means you gotta be smart and, and able to communicate and have a social social life that's above the means of a typical American or whatever you wanna put in that, put in that right there. You have to, because other than that, your social skills is screwed, a screw, a screw, a screw. I don't know how to say that word, a, a screw, A-S-K-E. They messed up, and if your social skills ain't at an 80, like I would even say mine's is at a, 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 a D or, they used to be at an F, so they probably at a D right now. I gotta get it to a C. So chosen ones, don't be surprised if y'all see me talking about social life and social skills uh, for the next couple of weeks. Because y'all know me, I incorporate a lot of stuff on this channel, but your social skills gotta be decent at least. And decent is a C. Decent is a D, D a D or a C. And I'm just getting better. And I'm still, you know, I made a couple friends, I ain't gonna lie, but they typically when they get to Instagram, when we get each other Instagram, they don't go too too far uh, beyond that because really, like I told you, money is important. So if you can't go to Starbucks or tell somebody, let's hit the movies or let's do this, you're gonna be entrenched at that moment. And you're gonna wonder why do, you know, why it seemed like this and that and it's really, it's not nothing, it's that you just don't know, you don't got, you know, money is a real thing right now, so people think that money ain't that serious, but it's just that serious. I'm one of the people who never thought money was that serious. I, mean, I, I still hate saying that, I hate saying it, but I, you know, life got a way of, of showing you that, yeah, man, you can't, you can't take a girl on a date. You look good, you can get a girl, give you her number, but when they come to that date, a lot of guys have a girlfriend right now if they had the bag. And I'm not saying that you tricking, cause you're not tricking. You just look better, not broke. Some people like, as an individual, you gotta realize, we're like, you feel me? Like, just cause a woman want a guy with a backbone, doesn't mean that she's tricking or you tricking. It just means she understand that, okay, he could take care of himself. And typically, me and a family, like, you know, sometimes it's just that simple. But I'm about to get out of here, man. And, and same thing go for friends, too. Like, don't ever think that friends is just using you because you got money. Because sometimes they are, but sometimes they not because same thing. Like, they're like, okay, if I hang with them, they can hold their own, period. And you thinking they're using you, but it's just, they just realize, like, yo, that's, you, 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 your, your, your ascension is here. You got the bag. You feel me? Like you got the bag. But look, I'm about to end this video.
Don't be scared of money um, subconsciously. I'm about to end this video and see y'all in the next video, man. I'm out. Peace. Let me know what y'all think about proximity, bullying, proximity, narcissism, and all the stuff that go on in the community, man. I'm out.